Welcome back to another video and joining us for our series in networking for beginners. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Wi-Fi routers. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to stop putting those Wi-Fi routers in the wrong spot. So in today's video, I am gonna go through different placement for those Wi-Fi routers, what you should do if you have a single router, what you should do if you get a mesh system with either two or three devices in that pack. Hopefully by the end of this, you will have a stronger Wi-Fi network. Now this is video number two in the Networking 101 series. Last week, I did a video breaking down at setting up a home network. Now this is for beginners, so it's not advanced stuff. We're not deep diving into too much. This is gonna be a lot of top level information for beginners, so hopefully it won't be too confusing. I will put all of these videos in a playlist. I will link that playlist down below if you guys want to check that out. Starting your own home network. Now we're talking about putting our Wi-Fi routers in the correct spot. There are lots of other videos that are gonna be a part of this series. So definitely check that out. I've also got a couple of bonus videos in that playlist on what is a mess Wi-Fi and then also how to use coax cable to turn into ethernet cable. But with that said, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and let's go ahead and get started with the topics. All right, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is move our main router. Now, if you have a single router like this one right here, you're gonna wanna get it to the most center part of your house. These routers here shoot out a signal that is going to be sphere shaped. So we're gonna get signal going left, right, up, down, all over the place, and we're gonna to want to be as center as possible. Now, the Wi-Fi system that we set up in the first video was a mesh system. So not only do we have the main router here, but we also have some satellites to put around the house. Now, depending on the amount of satellites that we got, we're gonna to need to be a little bit strategic on our placement. With this one right here, we have a three pack. So we're gonna have this guy with two other satellites lights to put around the house. Now, ideally, you're gonna to wanna to have this one be as center as you can, as far as the three that you're putting out, because the other satellites need to connect to this one to get its strength. Now, if you only have two of these satellites, you're gonna to wanna to offset these a little bit in the house, where you would not put one in the center, and you're gonna have one a little bit more, say, to the right, another one a little bit more to the left, but you don't want them on far extremes of each other. You still want them semi-close to each other, because the farther they get from each other, the lower the signal of strength is going to be. Also, depending on how many walls they have to pass through, walls, big furniture, different things like that is all going to lower the signal strength and therefore lower the speed. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is place our satellites around the house. I got a three pack right here, so I've got two satellites to put out in the house. Now, by default, you might think that you want to spread these as far out as possible. But remember, these connect to each other wirelessly. So we do want to have them in a tighter circle and not spread out so much. If we take a look at the diagram here, this is from the ASUS website. So if we take a look, we've got our primary router right here. And then in this one, we've got our two nodes or satellites way off to the side of the house. And if we look at the blue circles around it, neither one is touching the circle of the main router. So we're actually not getting any signal from that main router, which is not transferring internet to the other nodes. If we take a look at the one here to the right, this one is going to be better because it's going to piggyback off of the other one. So we've got one router, we've got a node in the middle, and another node. If we take a look down below that in the description, it says that you want to space these out about 10 to 15 meters apart. This is going to give us the best redundancy and signal strength throughout the network. Another thing that we wanna make sure we're doing is that we are not putting our satellites in a dead zone. So if we look at the diagram right here, we see that with a single point unit, it's not getting all over the house. So there are going to be some dead areas. Now you don't want to put a node in a dead spot because the signal strength from that main router is not going to reach there. The last thing that we could do is we could check the signal strength of our nodes to the main router. So here in my Deco app, I have got my little network set up right here. We've got office, we've got server room, and we have a living room. I'm gonna tap on that, and then I can tap on each one of these satellites individually. If I tap on living room, up here in the upper half section, we see that we have a strong signal. I'm gonna back out of that, let's also check the office signal. If we take a look, office also has a strong signal too. So now we know that we're getting a good signal amongst all of the devices in our house. Okay, now that we have got our main router set up, we put out our satellites there, we checked for signal strength, we've avoided those dead zones. Now what we wanna do is we want to run a speed test. Okay, so what we're gonna do, grab our phone, and this is the speed test that I use. Speed test by Ookla. 
Uh, go ahead and I'm gonna click on open and let's run the test and see what kind of signal strength we are getting from our devices. Now, I have a device about 10 feet going through about two walls on this side of me. I've got another device that is down below on the lower floor and maybe about another 10 feet off to the side. So I'm kind of in between two devices right now. I'm hoping for a really good signal strength. All right, taking a look right here, we're getting about 400 up and about 400 down on this one. I am more than happy with that speed. Now, a couple other things to consider. Make sure that you're getting the internet speed that you are paying for from your internet provider. If you're paying for 100 megabits, make sure you are getting 100 megabits. If you're considering an internet bump in speed, ask for a trial. It doesn't hurt to call up your ISP and ask them if you can have a little trial bump to see what the next speed would produce in the speed of your internal network. And then lastly, you can ask your internet provider for a modem upgrade. If you are leasing or renting a modem from them and it has been a while, you can always reach out to them and ask them if they have an upgrade and they usually will send that out and replace it for free. All right, well that wraps up placing your mesh Wi-Fi system in the correct position. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Also comment below, let me know what you thought of this one. Also ask any questions and I will either add videos to the future playlist or try to answer them on my Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram here and I'll be posting shorts and reels over there to answer any questions that I can below. As a reminder, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video.